गुड मॉर्निंग गाइज एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर व्लाग ऑन दिस चैनल वेलकम टू एनी न्यू सब्सक्राइबर्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई ओल्ड वर्ल्ड माई डे स्टार्ट यूजली प्लेइंग अराउंड विद माई कैट्स आई हैव टू कैट्स इन माई हाउस एंड टूडे इज जस्ट अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ अ नॉर्मल डे इन माई लाइफ वी आर सो मच इन हरी इन आर एवरी डे लाइफ दैट वी फो गेट दैट सिंपल थिंग्स और स्मॉलर थिंग्स एंड लाइफ मैटर सो मच Today is one such day where I was craving for a very simple breakfast. You can give me a very lavish English breakfast today right in front of me and I would still say no to it because today that is not what I am craving. I want to eat those small triangle parathas which we used to eat while growing up and a simple spicy omelet. Just two things on my plate but it's going to make me more happy than the other days. To be honest, I never exactly learned cooking while growing up. Reason being that I was brought up in such a pampered family, everything was just right in the plate in front of me whenever I wished for something. But when I got out of home, I realized the importance of being self-independent, the importance of learning to cook the basics at least, and that is how I started to cook. But out of all the things that I have cooked, Trust me when I say this that I just cannot make a proper roti or a chapati. I have done years of struggles and finally I've been able to make a decent make do version of it. But something that I have realized is that it is not about the technicalities. It is not about the formula. As such, we can never have a formula for food or recipes. Recipes is just a basic outline, but how you customize it, what taste comes at the end, is all a matter of what kind of effort you put into it, what kind of thought you put into it, and the immense amount of love. And the end result. of anything made with so much love and effort is always going to be tasty it's always always going to be good and at this hectic lifestyle and such a busy routine that we follow and so many ordering apps just at our fingertips making just one time meal is also so satisfying and so relieving one another thing that makes me happy is my nail extensions however silly or small it might sound but i don't know i just feel happy about it Being an introvert has its own challenges and by challenges I mean just small everyday challenges like for example making myself convinced enough to get out of the house a very big challenge in itself booking an appointment and going outside again another big decision to make but I believe that is how an introvert life is it's a very slower a much quieter life but you should always make something or the other to make yourself happy
I love bright colors and that is why whenever I come for an extension choosing the right color becomes very confusing for me but at the end I try to keep a medium length so that I'm able to do the other things in the house a longer and too many nail artwork nail obviously impresses but at the same time need to be a little more practical right because at home I can't do all of that stuff with those lavish nails. finally done and a sense of accomplishment of being able to complete one work in a day that is a very big thing isn't it these are my new nails how do you like it nail extension sessions are usually longer and i felt so hungry i spotted a megdi nearby and i got myself here for a quick lunch i ordered my usuals and I do not have any issues sitting alone and eating all by myself. I love my space. And fast food joints are a little more comfortable in that way. And the food is quicker. So that is a good option if you have not been used to eating alone. This is something where you can start. Now it's time to go home. I believe it was a productive day and a good day indeed. And I hope you guys like my vlog. I'll come back with more vlogs. Do subscribe and like my video for the other new ones. Bye bye. Take care.